the first video starts so quick. Uh, I have a new mic currently, so if it's a bit buggy, I do apologize for that. But anyways, enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy here, Close to back with another video. And today, what we're going to be going over is, I know I did take a break, and if you weren't there, I did. But, because my computer broke and stuff, it's a long story. Join my Discord if you want to know all of it. But, uh, I will be showing you guys today how you can make music commands in Discord.py. So, uh, the... The actual package that we're going to be using is called Discord Utils. So we just want to import like so. And a lot of people use Discord, uh, YouTube DL, which is eh, because you have to you have to install FFmpeg and so many other things, which is just long winded. And then it sometimes slows down your computer because it has to download the files and then play them and then delete the files which again is just really long-winded and i know none of you guys want to do that and so use this using discord that you discord utils actually is a lot faster and we can just get the job done so let's do it so you just want to import discord utils and then inside of your terminal here uh i did just import some terminal but just do pip install discord Make sure the capitals and everything is proper. It is case sensitive. I have already downloaded it. So as you guys can see, it shows like that. But if you guys have not, then I do suggest you guys download it. Uh, once you have downloaded it, you want to go here or wherever you put your, um, what do you call it, your variables. And you want to make music a variable and have that set to Discord Utils dot music like so and then you can just scroll down to wherever we actually use it so i would make my music commands here just as a random spot and what we're gonna we're gonna be making three commands today join leave and play so what we want to do is we can do at client.command or whatever you have and this is going to be join ctx and there you go and then you can do away ctx.send and do joined your your channel or anything you'd like and then above that do await what's more ctx dot I guess dot await wrong I've done that before but I do not see text dot send but see text dot author dot voice dot channel dot connect like so and what this will basically do is actually just join the voice channel that one is pretty simple uh but moving on we can do leave so this is basically the same thing just do at uh, you can actually copy this because it is a lot of the same stuff. Paste that in and change this to the. Remember that. And then this one just do. Ctx the author. The Ctx voice initial client. Dot disconnect. And boom. So that's how you do the. Now, once we run the actual bot, and if we go into, I don't know, any voice channels, so I'm going to be here. And if we do D, join, it says, join your voice channel, and it joins. Now, if we do D, leave, as you guys can see, it says, left your voice channel. And that's essentially what we want. Now, what we want to do is, we would be getting an error if say let's say the user is not even in a voice channel and they try to join it's not going to work out and i know some people are going to ask for the source code for that so here it is first of all, what you want to do is we want to have voice true uh you can call this if you want and that's just going to be ctx.author.voice like so and then you want to have if voice true is none Open that up, and then you can do return awaitctx.send. Voice 
channel. And there you go. So, let's test that out. But before we get onto that, we should do the same thing for leave, or else it's not just gonna make sense. So, what we wanna do is you can actually copy voice true and paste it on there. And then we're actually gonna copy it again. And this one's gonna be called my voice true. Now, what this one will be used for is remove ctx.author and do ctx.pure.me. And what this would do is this will refer to the bot itself and check if the bot is in a voice channel. So once again, we can copy this and post this in, and then uh, put it in again and do a me voice channel and say I am currently in a voice channel. And once again, this is it. So let's go ahead and test it out. So now here we have it, and we can join the recording voice channel again, or whatever voice channel you have, and do the join. Now, as you guys can see, this works perfectly, and if we do deep leave, it works perfectly. But then if we try deep leave again, it will say, I'm not currently in a voice channel. And then if we do deep join, and yeah, it still works. Now, if we leave it and leave that a drone inside of it, and do deep leave once more it says you are currently not in a voice channel and cannot access the command so now with that out of the way we can move on to playing the commands okay so when you want to do a play command we can do client dot command and do async def play and you can add an alias p if you'd like and do ctx and now have an asterisk and another comma and then do url now what this will do is this will make it so anything after anything after you put there will count as the URL and this will get just really useful. Now we can do player equals music dot get player right here and then do guild ID equals ctx dot your ID. Your ID. Like so, pretty simple. And then we can do if not there. So what this would do is if nothing's playing currently, it will just add the song and play it. So do only player dot Q. I hope I spelled that correctly. Actually, I did. Then actually. My bad. We can do. So now that we have our variable player down, we can do if not player. If I can spell that. And then that would be. We would have to change player to music dot create player. And actually, we won't be. We can pass in CTX and FFmpeg underscore error underscore better fix. These are just FFmpeg things that actually allow you to play music in there. Now, we can make another one. So if not player, um, if not CTX dot voice sorry. client dot is playing so what this will do is if like nobody's actually if the bot's not actually playing anything it will just run this command and actually I forgot put parentheses right there now we can do away player dot q and then Pass in the URL and search equals true. And then after that, we can do song equals away player dot play and then parentheses end it off. And then lastly, we can do away ctx dot send. I have. 
orchid frame. And this one's just gonna be simple. We can do actually you're gonna have to F string this one and then do song.name. So I will be getting into like how to get the thumbnail, everything like that into future videos and upgrading it slowly like so. And then lastly we can add else and then do song equals oh wait player dot q and that's gonna be once again url equals just search equals true so that'll just go add it it's the same thing essentially and then go in there now and do oh wait ctf not send so that already added it to the queue uh f string that say song dot name oh no has been added to play request and yeah there you go in future videos i will be showing you guys how you can like do q loop and now playing stuff like that but I'm not gonna, uh, this is just episode one. I may do other episodes if this does, does do good. But anyways, let's test this out. Okay, so here I am in my Discord. Join by the way, link down below in the description. And I'm already Jones, you know, joined. So if I just do D play, then the URL, it's a song that I made. As you guys can hear, actually, from there, it has started playing. Now, you guys may not be able to hear this because, you know, I do have my desktop audio off on OBS, but you guys can see that green highlight above, you know, right here when you talk, like when I talk, it works. And yeah, so it's basically transmitting music and it's playing. And yeah, it's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. It was pretty fun to make. Uh, and yeah, I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm a bit busty. But yeah, it's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, if it did work for you, please leave a sub. It really does help out. And yeah, see ya.